This is a nucleus colony that Rass dropped off this morning. Um, we've never gone into it, so we're just going to smoke them a little bit. And see what they look like. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much going on in here. Empty frame with no foundation. Frame of brood, or half a frame of brood. Looking to see if I see a queen. So the elastics just fell off. So this was a cutout that was done mm -hmm. a week or so ago, probably by the looks of it. Don't see a queen. Currently don't see any eggs. There is some cat brood and then there's some chunky larva. Uh, there's a couple eggs over in this corner here. Just a couple of them. Second frame is mostly honey. A little more brood on this side. Queen. Third frame. Little bit of tiny bit of brood, some honey, nectar. Still don't see a queen. Very small. Very small little queen. Oh, there's the queen up here. Little tiny queen. She just hiding in there. Might have gone over to this side. There she is. There's a the queen right there. Very small queen. So there is a queen in here. Um, it's a three frame nucleus colony with no foundation in it. Um, we should feed it or something. It's a bunch of frames with no foundation. They're, they're going to take forever to draw that stuff out. We have that dead hive over there, David. It probably has honey in it. And it might have a feeder, so we might do that. This hive here last week um, had bees in it. No queen, no nothing, but just a handful of bees. And again, just a handful of bees but it has resources in it. So this here is all nectar, which is pretty good. There's some drone comb here. This side here, again, that's nectar on that side, which is pretty good. There's a few bees in it. They're drawing that. So what I'm gonna do is take this. This is a good feeder frame for that hive because it's got, it's full of nectar. So it'll give enough food for that hive so we don't have to put a feeder in it. We can take this frame and because 
there's some drone comb here. I'm uh, worried that possibly there's a laying worker that has started laying. So before I want to put this into that hive, the first thing I want to do is shake most of the bees off it. If I put the laying worker in that hive, they could uh, kill the queen that's in there. So now we have a frame with honey on it. I'm gonna put that in here. And it's a very small nuke, so we're not gonna put a, uh, it in a 10 frame box yet because it's so small. But what I'm gonna look for is a frame that's empty-ish with some foundation on it. This one again has some honey and nectar in it. Honey and nectar. That one is empty-ish in there. So they can start drawing that out. We can steal the app of our strip from this one. It's only been there a couple weeks. This, uh, because it was a cutout, was probably not treated. Um, and there's not enough bees in here to check. I don't want to sacrifice 300 bees to check for Barola mite. So we're going to take this piece of empty foundations already drawn, put that down in this box. Then, because this uh, strip has a little bit of pra or wax on it already, I'm just going to scrape that wax off to expose the plastic strip surface so that the apivar is going to get good contact with the bees. Then I'll slide that down into there, like that. Okay. We will take the lid, put the lid back on, then uh, the two empty frames we'll put over there. Put the plastic on top and we put two bricks on top of things or two rocks on top of them to know that there's a queen in there. So we'll leave this in there for another week, see how much they grow, and then maybe next week we'll put that in a 10 frame box.